for that there was discipline there was a certain kind of food that i was eating Aishadha, welcome to Bollywood Life. Thank you so First much. First of all, everyone who has seen the trailer has loved it. Whether it's the chemistry between Ranbir and you, the songs, the locations, your super hot glam avatar. But you are coming back after two years almost, almost three it's been yeah. Yeah. for you on screen back. What's going on in your mind? Uh, I am a mixed bag of. Uh, I'm feeling nervous. I'm feeling excited. Uh, you know, it's it's. My fingers are crossed because after Pathan, you know, I'm hoping that uh, a lot more people go into the theatres and watch films. It'll be so nice to have theatres back in full force. Um, uh, you know, Indian films are uh, uh, spectacles and people love watching them in theatres. So it'll be really nice if people, more and more people go into the theatres and I hope that I'm a part of that. So uh, I'm excited, I'm nervous about this film. So fans are literally in love with your super hot, you know, this glamorous avatar. So what kind of hard work went in in getting that look? You know, uh, Love Ranjan is known for his kind of films like uh, Pyar Ka Panch Nama, uh, Sonu Ke Tittu Ki Sweetie. The dialogues and the characters are very, uh, almost like one unit, you know. So for me to be a part of this world and for me to be a part of his writing where you have those dialogues where people will just connect with it and they stay with you. Uh, he has that knack of uh, uh, building that world, you know. So uh, it was, it was uh, for me, a, a very new experience to learn that how important is dialogue in terms of uh, uh, your, and how important it is to be a part of your character. He would be very particular about the way that we are uh, uh, saying our lines. We can't shift one word from here to there because he would explain ki yaar, uska meaning hi badal jata tha. So that was very interesting yeah, to see. Yeah, the timing in and his... Absolutely, yeah. exactly. And you know, it's about... And he's very particular about timing. And he will explain it to you. He explained all of us on set. He was very clear. And it was amazing, even though COVID kisi na kisi ko hua tha during the uh, film shoot. And when we would come back on set, he would know exactly what the sort of the film is. So when you're working with a maker who is so clear about what his film is, you just want to completely surrender. So that's exactly how I felt as an actor also. And, and I felt like he's making a fun, entertaining film. Uh, and those are also the kind of films that I always wanted to be a part of and I try to be a part of, you know. Um, uh, so, and that aside, of course, uh, certain parts of the film also had, uh, you know, a requirement to have a certain kind of uh, physique. And uh, for that, there was discipline, there was a certain kind of food that I was eating and I was working out and um, yeah. And Ranbir and you are looking electrifying on screen. What took you all so long, you know, to come together for a movie? I think no one offered us a film before this and uh, this is the first film we got offered together. So, and now we're doing it. I admire him as an actor a lot. So I'm so glad that we got this uh, opportunity to work together. And he's like quite a master at the rom-com genre. Like he has done quite right. a, movies, a right. few movies in that. How was it like working with him? Oh, it was superb working with him. He is such a master at his craft and uh, to show it so effortlessly. Um, and you know, he has this demeanor on set, which is very, like you don't think that you don't anticipate what is going to happen between action and cut and just boom, it just happens. So to see that was amazing. And um, he's very, very, uh, how do you say it's for him, I think everybody on set would say that he's amazing to work with. And I, I feel the same way. Post pandemic, it's been a bit of a worrisome time for producers and all. There are quite a few good movies that probably did not get that good a response at the theatres. And the audience, like everyone is saying, has become very unpredictable about what they want to watch. Would you say that this is a worrisome time as an actor? You know, I feel that um, these are very strong messages to makers where uh, if people are not going and watching films in theatres, you can't make a film a success and you can't expect people to come into theatres because of who is starring in the film or which banner is making the movie. The audiences don't care about that anymore and we can very very clearly see that. So I think that it's very important for all of us to take it very positively and really put in that effort to uh, prioritise great storytelling 
and prioritize putting our best foot forward and this is for all the departments who are a part of the film industry be it uh, 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 anybody actors se leke makers tak you know everybody needs to um films aren't doing well we all need to pull up our socks and really analyze and see where are we going wrong